All right, what's up, YouTube, bro? It's your boy, Wama Gaming here, back with another video, man. And today, I'm actually going to be doing something to help you guys out, man. A lot of you guys have actually been DMing me on Instagram. If you don't know my Instagram, link in the description below. And you've been saying that, hey, um, I need help with some of these spotlight challenges, or this is hard on this spotlight challenge. So, um, I'm actually going to just be helping you guys with some of these spotlight challenges and help you out knowing what to do and stuff. But if you are new, you do want to help your boy out, I would appreciate your sub to the channel and a couple likes on this video, man. About 10, 15 likes would be cool. And yeah, let's hop right into it. So, one thing I do want to say, bro, these spotlight challenges are way easier than some of the other ones. They're also cheaper, bro, that James Harden is going for like, he's going for like 200K now, but he was going for like 100K yesterday, around 100K to 175K range. I got mine for like 120K. So these are relatively cheap compared to some of the other spotlight challenges, man. So one thing I do want to say also, bro, when you're doing these spotlight challenges, I want you guys to try to evolve this, um... This is Jameer Nelson right here, man. As you see, I'm trying to evolve him right now because when he, he gets his stats up, this card is probably going to be one of the best point guards in the game, man. He gets all of the shooting badges on gold, bro. Then he gets two of them on Hall of Fame, catch and shoot in corner specials. Then he gets all of the slashing badges, and he gets unpluckable Hall of Fame, and he gets some pit dodge and pit pocket Hall of Fame. I mean, gold. And the resale value on this card is going to be insane, man. You're going to probably be able to sell this card for like 200 k That that price on that card is going to be insane. But back to the spotlight challenges. So a lot of you guys have been telling me that you need help with this Dwight Howard spotlight challenge. And most of these are relatively easy, man. I'm going to hop into one game and show you guys what I mean for most of these. But with the first one, all you really got to do is score. The same thing for this 20 and 12, bro. If you don't know how to get rebounds, especially against some of these other teams that don't really have um, shooters on the floor, all you pretty much have to do is just flop. I'm going to show you guys that when I get into this gameplay. But just flop, man. I see the one that most people have the most trouble with is these blocks. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually get those blocks um, relatively easy. Because in this first game, I got like 10 blocks, bro. It was super easy. I'm doing the same thing for the second one. I'm trying to make sure I go through all of these. So you need rebounds, blocks, and it's pretty much. I'm going to show you all you guys how to score a lot with them. And yeah, I'll hop into this game and I'm going to show you all how to do this stuff right here. All right, man. So I'm gonna try to make sure this isn't like a 10 minute video like most other YouTubers would have did, man. So the first thing, let's say we can actually get the tip ball. No, we cannot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get the blocks right now. So if you're playing a team like this that you need blocks for, you want to leave the center in the paint and then you want to rush full speed just like that, bro. Now you're not gonna get a block every single time, but eventually you will get enough blocks to where you can complete the challenge, man. That was relatively easy. I don't know why a lot of people have trouble with that. And then for the scoring, this is pretty much all I do. I just come up, I throw logs, man. So boom. Like I said, I want to evolve my Jameer Nelson at the same time so i'm going to call for a pick and roll if they want if the cpu doesn't want to foul me bro come on out come on out there we go um you want to switch to a four in and one out or you want to switch to the specifically you want to switch to the hawks playbook bro because this makes sure that they like some random person doesn't just run into the lane because y'all know 2k does that this year when you do four in one out so you do a four in one out bro you call for a pick and roll you let d12 set the pick if i can actually set the right pick man and then you just throw a lot pretty much man it's not working right now but that's essentially how you can get 40 points super easy man just doing that i'm gonna show you guys in the next thing um how to do that but again i'm gonna show y'all how y'all can get y'all blocked super easy man again just leave this center in the paint. You, so if he's on that block right there, you want to leave him there. And then you just, boom, just jump at him. Now, he is going to hit a lot of layups, bro. Al Harrington was dunking all over me for them first seven blocks, man. But eventually, you will get blocks. Also, another way to get blocks is just hoist it up from half court like this. And then the team will be on the fast break, right? So you give him a fast break. Then you leave LeBron open to come into the paint. Okay, he doesn't want to come into the paint or you leave him there. Then boom, there you go. Another block right there. There we go. Showing y'all that block. And now I'm going to show y'all how to get the rebounds. Just using Dwight Howard. He's super easy to rebound with. The rebounds shouldn't be too difficult in itself. Um, see, so call for a screen here. Call for a screen here. Call for a screen here. There we go, 2K. I'm going to call for a screen. You see that easy lob opportunity. Give me that dump. And then you can get 40 points super easy like that, bro. So most of these challenges are not hard, bro. Y'all see I got them blocks right there. I got the um, dunk right there. And I'm going to show y'all how y'all can essentially get the rebound. So if I'm playing a bad shooter, I can just flop on the floor like that. Boom, let him shoot a, a dumb shot like that. He'll usually miss, and then you can grab a rebound, man. So most of these challenges are not hard whatsoever, bro. Um, again, come down. Give me a little pick and roll in here, D12, bro. Um, give me a pick and roll. He's going to leave D12 wide open to catch that lob. It usually it doesn't get blocked, but it did that time, bro. But y'all get the point of what I'm trying to say. And then in transition, you should easily be able to get blocks and rebounds, man. So that's pretty much how to just do these challenges pretty easy, bro. Like I said, I haven't had much difficulty doing these challenges. I know some people have told me, yeah, is it, these are hard. They haven't been that hard for me, bro. They've been relatively easy. 
come down, throw that lob up top, give me another dunk. See how easy, just that easy, bro. Just score 10 points in the quarter. Like this one right here, I have to score 40 points. I just focus on trying to score 10 points a quarter, man. Then boom, leave him open in the paint right there. Let him cut down if they actually want to leave. You will have this sometimes where the CPU will do that. He's going to pass it over. Then you go get a, try to get a block attempt. So I see y'all at that screen. So like I said, bro, I haven't had trouble with any of these. Now, some of these, I don't know what you're going to have to do for them. Like this back to back. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what three diff, um, three player, three player, defense player of the year is. Um, I don't know what Beard is. But for the most part, the ones that are listed as superstar usually are easy for me. Also, bro, they don't have much difficulty. The only ones I'm really worried about is this 30 for 30, bro, because getting rebounds in this game can be so stupid, man. It can be so stupid. So I'm, I am worried about that 30 for 30. That I am worried about the spotlight finale. But when, we, when I get there, I'll just finish it. For the most part, these have been super easy for me. Hopefully, it continues to be that, man. But again, once I figure out what these are, I'll kind of update y'all, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to be the same, like get some rebounds, score some points, man. And I just showed y'all how to pretty much do that. But yeah, if you are having difficulty with these spotlight challenges, those are some tips that can help you. And yeah, it's your boy Wildmon Gaming. If this helped you at all, just hit leave a like, leave a sub. Any